Hey, good morning, Homestead family. So, guess where we're headed this morning? I just got a call from the post office and our meat chickens have arrived and they are anxious for us to come pick them up. So, I'm headed to the feed store first to grab some uh, um, pine shavings for the bottom of our uh, chick pen and some starter feed and then I'll head to the post office to pick the chickens up. So let's go see the chicks. you about first um, is when you order your chicks make sure that you order chicks from an NPIP certified hatchery right now there's a heightened awareness of the H5N1 um, bird flu that's going around and you certainly don't want to bring uh, meat chickens into a flock well into the into your area um, where you already have other chickens to infect them with any kind of bird flu. Um, so make sure you get an MPIP certified hatchery first. That's first, first and foremost. Okay, so I just got to Tractor Supply and I'm going to run in here and get some pine shavings and <clears throat> um, some starter feed um, for the birds and then we'll head out to the post office to go get the chicks. So this is an exciting new adventure for us because we've raised chickens, um, egg, egg, egg layers for um, a couple of years now, but this is our first time actually getting meat chickens. And so we're excited about this. This is a new adventure for us. And also, um, hold on, that's really wobbly. Also, um, Mr. Homestead just finished the, um, chicken tractor that we'll be putting out in the yard as soon as the chicks get big enough to be outside. So let's go to the post office, get the chicks. There they are. Here we go. Back to the truck with the babies. All right, and they're here. Can you hear them? Oh, they're quiet now. So one thing about ordering chicks through the mail is, um, the first thing is the post office expects you to pick them up within 24 hours of them arriving. So, um, so they called us this morning about 7.30 and said that they were here. So we got here within an hour and a half. And um, the sooner you can get them, the better. So they're not in um, an environment that's not conducive for little chicks. And then um, we'll get home. We'll open up the box, check them out, see if everything's okay. And we'll get their pen set up, put the pine shavings in the bottom 
and we'll get their water and feed set up and get a light set up for later tonight. Right now in our zone where we are, 9B, um, it's getting up to 85 degrees during the day right now. So warmth is not really an issue during the daytime. However, it is getting down like in the 60s at night and that's a little cool for chicks. So we'll have a heat lamp on them for the nighttime. So let's head home and go get them set up. just as a uh, side note um, when you have um, that many chicks delivered to you just know that there are probably going to be one or two casualties and um, it's not a fun thing to deal with but it's just that's the way it is so um, and it's not because we're getting them mailed to us versus going to the store and get them because when the store gets them, they also have casualties as well. So you just don't see those casualties. But um, anyway, we're gonna get the pen set up. <clears throat> we have our tank out here in the shop. So we're gonna go in here. And drag it out. Here's the um, chicken tractor that we'll be using once they get a little bit older to keep them outside, to give them some fresh air and clean grass to graze on. So let's get over here. Where is it? There it is. Back here. Here's what we'll be using for the chicks to start off with. And uh, it's got a lot of junk in it, so we gotta clean it out. put two to three inches of pine shavings in the bottom of our tub and one thing the lady at the feed store uh, mentioned because I almost was about to get um, fine shavings and she said that sometimes the chicks will eat the fine shavings thinking it's food and that they do better with the large shape. So that's your first step is lining the tub with shavings. Now, um, one of the first things that you're gonna wanna do when you put your chicks in here is give them water. And because it's been a while since they've had any water and that's one of the best things to do to get them acclimated and get them off to a good start. <clears throat> Another thing I wanted to show you here is we're using um, starter grower and we actually use medicated for their first batch of um, feed. After this, I won't buy medicated. I'll just buy starter grower, but I like to use the medicated to start with just to get them off to a healthy start. So let's go get the water and the um, chicks. Get them in the tub. So this is how we do it. Just stick their stick their nose in it. <clears throat> or stick their beak in it. But show them where the water is.
So it looks like they're all set. They've got water, they've got food, and they all look nice and healthy. <laughs> and it's really warm in here, so I think they'll be fine. Um, we'll check on them in a little while, and then later tonight, we'll put the heat lamp on them so they will have plenty of warmth, and they'll be set to go. So thanks for hanging out with us this morning and um, my granddaughter just as uh, let you know my granddaughter I brought in the chickens and I said we got new chicks and she said why and I was like well they're gonna be meat chickens she goes I don't even want to see them <laughs> so she gets attached to some of our um, animals on the farm so she'll stay away from them this time because she knows the heartbreak of um, raising something and then having to say goodbye to it so that's okay that's she's learning and um that's part of um the nature of homesteading right um but we're thankful we're thankful for what we've got um you know what we have a freezer full of deer meat we have chickens about to be raised and um Hopefully we'll be set for a while. Meat shortages won't bother us. So we're thankful that the Lord's provided these kinds of things for us to be able to do that. And guys, everybody have a great day. And always remember, do your best and watch God do the rest. Bye-bye.